Hey guys, today I'm going to go over how to deploy a static content website on AWS using S3, Route 53, and CloudFront uh, for basically almost free. Um, costs are very, very small when using this method. So first thing I'm going to show you is I have a repo here on GitHub. It's just a website that I've created, fullstackts.com. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you actually go to fullstackts.com and sign up for my waitlist. I'm creating a Fullstack Developer web course here that you can sign up for later when it gets released and you'll get a notification to your email when that is released. Um, so that's something I'm working on currently. All right, so going to Amazon, log into the AWS console, and the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Code Pipeline. In code pipeline, you're going to create a brand new pipeline, and basically what you're going to do is create a source and a deploy without actually creating a build step. So you just want the source component and the deploy component. Uh, when you do that, if you go into the source component, all you want to do is make sure that the source is actually coming from GitHub and that you've connected it to your repository and you've selected the master branch or whatever branch it is that you want to deploy. Uh, in my case, I only have a master branch. Once you've done that, um, you will then configure the deploy. Remember, you're going to skip the build, go straight to deploy. When you go to the deploy, you want to make sure you're using um, the source artifact, which is defined by source, you want to type in the name of your S3 bucket, which in my case is fullstackts.com, and you want to check the box that says extract file before deploy. Once you've done that, it will automatically dump when you run that pipeline it'll dump the contents of your github repo into your bucket with the name of your site so my site is fullstackts.com you can see here all the contents of my repo have been emptied into the s3 bucket the next thing you're going to need to do is go to uh, properties static website hosting click use this bucket to host a website and type in index at HTML. Hit save. Um, go to permissions and make sure you write something similar to this initiating a policy, which um, the ID and the SAD can be unique. But what you really need is these two lines here you need the action S3 get object and the resource. Um, this basically this URL here with the forward slash splat at the end with the name of your site or the name of your bucket here that'll allow all of your objects in your bucket to be public all right the next thing you need to do is set up www to non www redirect this is optional uh, I always do this for my sites so create a new bucket with the exact same name except www in front and all you want to do here is go to properties static website hosting redirect to your original bucket name and just put http is fine um, all right now that we've done that we have the s3 bucket set up the redirect bucket set up the www redirect bucket set up all we have to do is go to Route 53. Uh, you want to make sure you create a hosted zone. So I've already created one called fullstackts.com. You basically want to then uh, put your aliases here, which are going to point to CloudFront, and your CNAME for your certificate verification. So. Um, if you haven't already, you will need to go to CloudFront and inside your CloudFront configuration, you're going to basically, you're basically going to need to create a new CloudFront 
CloudFront uh, distribution, you want to make sure you point the URL to the bucket URL for the static website. So if I go to um, static website hosting, this is the endpoint that you want to verify that CloudFront is using for your origin. So your origin domain needs to be the full static website. Once you've done that, make sure alternate domain names or your C name is the actual name of your site, the domain of your site. And then you can configure your custom SSL certificate for your website. Once you've done that, you'll want to do the exact same thing for the www. So you want to come in here and make sure your alternate domain, domain, domain name is the www version. The redirect is handled by S3, so don't worry about that. Same SSL certificate for your main site. And make sure the origin is the www version of the S3 static URL. Now, once you create these, it's going to take a little while for this to take effect. But you want to verify that in Route 53, you are using the aliases with the A record pointed to the CloudFront URL. So remember, in CloudFront, we have a page that lists all of our CloudFront distributions. You want to make sure this URL is the A name alias for your site. So here I have fullstackts.com pointing to this A name alias. That has to match this domain name here. Once you've done that, you are ready to go. And if you go to your website here, you can go to HTTP. It automatically redirects to HTTPS. You can go to www. It'll automatically redirect back to the regular HTTPS. You can do HTTP www. And remember, it'll always redirect to the HTTPS version of your domain name. All right, well, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment if you wish. Thanks.